Okay, Carrie, let's see how you're pitching these days. And you can see right there out of the gate, it seems like when we start pitching, we don't have a good uh, finish or a follow through. So you do a lot of good things here in this video, but we just really got to get to a point of consistency. And you can tell me, see right there where you're just popping your hand and instead of really getting through it. And then, of course, you come back right there and you do it and you look good other than walking across just a little bit. And this may be the best pitch I've ever seen you throw. Uh, you're close as you can be for your nose back behind your belly, so we're going to break this one down just a little bit. So right here you get in what we call the attack posture. Um, we want to be pushing and driving, and you'll see right here as she's pushing and driving there's a lot of angles in her knees in her back and she's really driving you're a little bit upright but we've been trying to get you back anyway but we want to explode down that line you see the red line down her back and the green line the bends in her knees the angles and she's really going to explode off that rubber but this isn't bad so we want to get to more of this attack posture when we get that energy, but we've got to be able to get our nose back behind our belly. So here we are at what's called circle start. That's the hand at the lowest part as it starts at circle. You can see her back still has angle moving forward. And of course her hand's down here at the start and you look just like she does. Got good angle in your back and the ball's down as you get ready to start. So then we go from here to what's called the first quarter. Both hands should be reaching towards home plate. And you want to be reaching and driving. And look how she's really reaching and driving and, and stretching towards home plate. Both her glove hand. And you can see the blue line with your glove hand is a little bit lower. And so I think if we can get that hand up, then we can get ourselves backwards where we need to be here we are what calls circle peak that's where your hands at the top and then we're trying to make this x or k position and you can see she looks like a letter k or x and here's your k or x position and it's really not that bad other than um you're gonna we're, we're gonna talk right there that yellow line shows your nose and we're trying to get behind our belly and you're out in front of your belly and you can see a little space between your shirt and you can see her nose is right here on the belly button so I think it starts from not having a good reach here if we can reach with both hands then we can get in what's called the uh, reverse posture so you see your nose is forward and we've just got to get you backwards a little bit So this is what's called reverse posture. And we're going to look at the yellow line. You see how your yellow line goes from top to bottom. It's kind of going right to left. So you're forward at that point. And we really want to have our nose back behind. And you can see how she's behind. Her, hers goes tops to bottom, left to right. Yours is right to left. If we could just fix that little bit, we'd find a whole lot of power. So now we're at toe touch. Uh, that's where your front foot comes down, makes contact, and you're resisting on the front. You see her reverse posture, and there's a little bend in her elbow. Once she goes from circle peak and it drops to toe touch, and you've got a little elbow bend, looks good. And um, you don't look that bad other than you can see the green line down your belly button. You, you're forward where she is backwards. And then, of course, we transition from reverse posture to really get our energy moving forward i couldn't hardly stop and capture you at what's called the third quarter that would be with your arm directly behind you but if you notice her blue line to red line she's gone from reverse posture and now she's come almost straight up and down the white line on the front she's good resistance on the front and you look really good here except you see the red line down your belly we, we have, we're still forward. If we can get your nose back behind your belly, be great. So here we are at wrist snap. 
Um, this is the last part, and you can see how she really explodes and whips that elbow. And she goes, she had the ball at green where you're at right here, and then you're going to get it to red where you're really snapping, and you look really good right there. We just got to get nose behind the belly. And then, of course, we follow up. We don't really kick off the back uh, as much as we throw that back knee to the front knee. And uh, you look really good. So we're going to take a look at this pitch one more time. Um, I mean, this is really as nice a pitch and mechanics. And you see what's getting ready to come up right here. I want you to do this over and over again. You look good. Tack posture. Reach. Throw that back knee into that front knee. And drag up the power line. That looks really good. There it is in fast speed. So we got to get consistent with uh, that finish. And just a little bit about getting your nose behind you. So we're moving on to watch more pitching. There's another good pitch right in behind it. Let's make sure we get that ball in the glove. We can't be flipping around. And then we lose consistency right there. You can see how your hand didn't finish. You rolled across the top of it. And I've got a sad face emoji kind of. So we definitely just got it in there. You're walking across and we didn't finish and mechanics just break down. I don't know where you're going with that, but you know, you've whipped, it's up, your hand is facing the camera, you're not behind the ball. And then we come right back to a good one. So how do we get consistent? That looks good other than we're walking across. I mean, let's get really focused about what we're doing. So I try to tug on your shirt a little bit, and, and this messes you up for attack posture, but I'm trying to get that nose to get back behind your belly button. And there again, you didn't finish very strong on that one. And that's okay, other than we're walking across. We turn the elbow and the hand, and uh, we're forward and back foot's up. Uh, I mean... I understand why we do that, but we just got to be, I know you know how to do it right now, and you've really come a long way since you started. Right there's a good one. Looks really good. We got to do that every time. There, our elbows out just a smidge, and our hands to the side of the ball, not behind it. Elbow out, turn it over. And there's at regular speed, but walking across, but it's a nice finish. And that looks good, other than we're walking across. We're just watching you pitch right here. You're so good if we could just focus on what we're trying to do. Right there, we kind of turned our elbow out. I mean, you're really going to have to get your mind thinking about mechanics until they become habit. That's not bad right there. But I mean, you're going awfully fast here, which is also that right there. There's no finish on that pitch. Just not consistent about what we're doing. Somehow we got to get our mind thinking mechanics, 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 until our mechanics become uh, what we do. And you can see right here, just watching yourself throw several pitches in a row, how you're different on each pitch. One time you finish high, that time you don't. And so you just, that's the message, be consistent.
And that looks good right there. Uh, we're walking across a little bit, but we had a nice snap, nice finish. not bad looks good and here I'm trying to get you to slow down and see where you're throwing the ball and thinking about your mechanics you're just a little princess right here aren't you see the target big daddy be consistent here we go mechanic breakdown I mean, what are we doing right there? And no finish at all. Now we're moving on to the changeup. And as much as possible, we want to make our mechanics look just like a fastball. We want to resist on that front and let it go. Right here, we've been, that's not a bad pitch, it's just bending forward a little bit. You know, that's not bad. Uh, you see how you're bending forward? I still want you upright and back. And every pitch we throw, we want our nose back behind our belly button. It's not bad, we're just bent forward. But I like how your hand's flipping and where you're at right there. And that's just forward and that's that's awful. <laughs> I mean you gotta maintain you gotta sell us that it's a fastball. That right there is not bad, other than we didn't hang on to it. Oh, you like that pitch, I can tell by your face. Let's be consistent. Nose behind the belly. And that's, that's not bad. I mean, you're more upright. Remember how much you were bending forward, and now you're more upright with the pitch. It t I know you're coachable. Well, we just got to get your brain repeating the mechanics. So that finishes up um, this video. Uh, we just got to work on uh, keeping you consistent. But um, that pitch early where I tell you that it's it's a great pitch. I mean, you do it great a lot of times today. I, I've got an hour's worth of video watching you do it right uh, probably 30%, 40% of the time. But there's just too many breakdowns. So as we get more consistent, we'll get better. And your changeup getting a lot better. And of course, we got to start working on a drop ball. But um, I'm I'm pleased with where you're at right now. But good is not good enough if better is possible. <laughs>